Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today was DC Fandom 2021, and in this video, I'll be recapping all the updates that we were given in regards to the new DC films. So let's get into it. So we started with an epic teaser scene from Black Adam, where Black Adam is unleashed. We got a small glimpse of the Black Adam suit, as well as the heroes of the film. They gave us a short Black Adam opening scene where his powers are just shown enough that it makes us want to see more. I'm so excited to see this film and it looks like it's going to be quite brutal. Then we go to Aquaman 2 where we got mainly behind the scenes shots and concept art with some words from Jason Momoa. We got to see an official image of Black Manta's new suit. The stunts seem to be the main selling point of this Aquaman section of DC fandom and didn't show any scenes, just interviews, concept art and behind the scenes, which is a shame, but for where they are in production, it makes sense. We then go to The Flash, which I am most excited for, and we got a teaser trailer for it. It wasn't much, but it was very, very good. We got to see the two Barry Allens that we saw from the set photos. We also saw the famous Flash ring, which was also spotted in the set photos. The highlight of the teaser was the reveal of the new suit. Now, I love the design, apart from the new mask, that really does not look good at all, and I am hoping it is just the angle of the shot. We got an image of the two Flashes and Supergirl together in the Batcave, talking to most likely Michael Keaton's Batman. We did get a behind shot of Keaton in the Batsuit, which looks amazing, as well as almost seeing the Batmobile. If you zoom into the background of this image, you can see that it is Keaton's Batsuit on the floor, so this could be Keaton's cow, which from this direction, does look like Batflex. If this is Keaton's, then he is most likely injured and we can see a bathtub in the background, which I assume means he is treating his wounds. We also know that Barry's lining is now the famous reddish orange colour, which has changed since the Snyder Cut, which was blue. I really hope they can incorporate Flash to have blue and red lining, because I have seen fan art with that lightning design and I think it looks amazing. We know who wears the other Flash suit, which is the Barry Allen with longer hair, and it seems he designs the suit in the Batcave. There was also a shot where the Barry Allen with longer hair is standing over Supergirl. Now I believe that he is the villain, and this is a scene where he has captured her for whatever reason. Although, we do see them together in costume with the main Barry Allen, so maybe he is saving her. Let me know what you think. The final update from the Flash teaser is that there is a scene where Barry is walking into a house and then towards a woman. Now I believe that this is his mother, who he is trying to save by going back in time, which is what causes the multiverse to open. We have a small update from the Blue Beetle movie, and it is a release of the suit design. I think it looks good, but unfortunately that is all the news for the Blue Beetle film. Another small update is that the Batgirl film is in pre-production, and she will have red hair and a cowl. Then we have Shazam! Fury of the Gods, which was mainly behind the scenes and interviews from the cast. We got some shots of the villains and a couple of very short scenes from the film. It is confirmed to be released in 2023, which feels like a long time away, but I am sure all the content in between will make that time go faster. We have also got an official confirmation that Wonder Woman 3 is happening and Patty Jenkins is directing, but unfortunately, that is all we know. Then the final update is from the Batman film by Matt Reeves. We got a full trailer which I'll summarise for you now. The Riddler seems to be the main villain of the film, and this Batman is almost an unhinged Batman, filled with rage and anger, much like Batfleck's version. He really seems like he wants to hurt every single criminal. His relationship with Catwoman looks interesting, and they talked about how their chemistry was really strong as the actors are friends in real life. This film looks brilliant and visually amazing, so I cannot wait to see this movie. The Batman is confirmed to come out on March 4th, 2022, so it will be the first DC film of next year. In all honesty, if it wasn't for the Black Adam teaser, the Flash teaser, and the Batman trailer, I would have said this was an awful DC fandom. I'm only really interested in the DC films, and it felt like they were dragging everything out. It is a shame that they didn't have much to show for some of the films, because that would have boosted my enjoyment. I thought what we saw of those new films were epic, and I'm really excited for them. I just don't see the point of watching a four hour show for a couple of minutes of content that I actually care about. 
What was good about last year was that we had a schedule so you could choose to leave and join back when there was something you were interested in. But they didn't have that this year, which made the whole experience far less enjoyable. Make sure to let me know what you thought of DC Fandom and what upcoming films you are most interested in in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.